good morning, friends. It is a beautiful Wednesday, October 18th. Two days to my 40th birthday, which I'm super jazzed about. And I could pretend that I'm not, but I'm super excited. Um, I could have spent my 40th birthday in many ways, but instead of having parties and things, what I've decided to do is bring a group of people to as close to me as possible. Good morning, everybody! And I'm holding my first retreat on my uh, 40th birthday because holy fuck, that's all I have to say. I swear too much, but it's okay. So today I kind of want to talk to you and it's been brewing. I knew I was going to talk about this since Tea with Tamara last week. Just to put into uh, scope how long this has been irking me and festering and... Uh, kind of building up to let you guys know this secret. And it's not really a secret because the fact of the matter is we all know we do it. And I think that this is the worst part about the entire thing is that we all effing know we do this and yet we don't stop. The number one thing that holds us back, that prevents us from moving forward, from accomplishing our dreams, from starting a business, from having a love relationship, from all the magic that the fairy world is gonna give to us today. The Enchanted Fairy. I put uh, honey in my tea because I used to talk about that. So here's the big secret, you guys. Here's the one thing that is going to stop you and keep you stuck and prevent you from getting anything that it is that you desire or dream. But you know what? I'm tired. I'm tired and I don't want to talk about it. I wake up in the morning and one of the first thoughts I have is I'm tired. And as I'm making my breakfast, I think to myself, ugh, I'm not a businesswoman. How can I ever get to anywhere if I'm not good at business? And I'm not organized. I'm the least organized person. And I'm clumsy and I'm lazy and there's nobody, there's nobody in Niagara, my city, my province, my, my country who would, you know, has money or, or needs anything that I have to offer or can invest in themselves. And I'm hungry all the time and I just don't think I can do it. Every day we have a choice when we wake up in the morning. That is just an example. And I'm giving you actually an example of the things I used to say to myself. Those were my words. That was my script that I used to carry. No wonder I didn't go very far. My kids used to say to me, Mom, you're always tired and you're always hungry. And guess what? I would fall asleep on the couch every night and I would gain weight because that is what I was placing subconsciously out into this world. Declaring was what I needed. Well, Pat, you're just amazing. And I know you do. So here's the most important thing that we have. And the one thing that's going to unstick us, right? When I joined the author incubator, in November. And I know I talk about this a, a lot because this was the TSN turning point for me, the sports network game changing play for my non-Canadians, um, was the fact that in that moment, in that time, in that debt, as much as I had nothing, I said to myself, I'm going to make the same amount of money that I paid for this. There was never an option I started to change the way I saw things. It was like, okay, what do I need to do today to be the Tamara that does the thing? And for the first time in my life, I am tired. I am sick. I'm not this. I'm not that. There's not this. There's not that. Escaped my language. And my language became so in tuned to the result. What do I need to do today to be the Tamara that gets this done? How do I show up and be present? My life is definitely vibrant and energetic now, right? Nobody says Tamara's tired. Nobody, nobody, not even myself, because it's a truth now that is my belief system that carries out my energy. 
I started the author incubator, you guys. Prior to that, you gotta admit, I was not a businesswoman. And I was not organized. And I knew nothing about money. And I didn't think there was, you know, any of that. And when I started the author incubator and I was writing, my kid is driving me crazy. Uh, I actually heard Sir say to me, you're gonna, you're gonna teach business one day. And I was like, what? Seriously? <laughs> like, guys, the key is always to listen. Because it's true, I do teach the business of, the energy of creating, the business of your dreams, because everything is energy in this world. So if you're striving to get your business off the ground and nothing seems to be working and you can't figure it out, chances are it's an energetic shift that needs to occur, and that's my jam. So of course it was. And I can tell you, even when I started the program, I was like, oh my God, I need to get this. I need to get this money for the second payment of the other incubator. Oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I hired a VA and she's magical. And this is nothing to do or a reflection of her, but it was my panic. It was my panic. And I hired a VA and I got Facebook ads and I did a webinar and I did all of this stuff. But guess what? I had a zero conversion rate. Nobody wanted my program that wasn't designed to serve that nobody knew who I was, that it was so easy to hide behind because it's so easy and it is so normal, guys, to be afraid to put yourself out there in case somebody doesn't like what you do or say. We live in that fear. Now, fear in itself doesn't exist. It's an illusion. And all of those thoughts of if I do this, you know, I'm not a businesswoman. There's no money. Who's going to invest in me? This isn't something people want. I'm not, you know, somebody that people are going to want to watch every Wednesday at 9 a.m. with Tea with Tamara. But I'm super excited that you guys come. Because it was never something that I thought about. It was, I'm going to show up and I'm going to give you guys what it, I know is important, valuable information. And if you choose to show up every Wednesday, that's the magic. And I, again, am blessed that you guys do. But today, today I'm asking you to change the way you see yourself and the world and the script you use. Good morning, Rosalind. Right? Change your words. You are no longer tired. I hate that one. I, even when I say it, I feel dirty. Like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not tired. I'm just, because uh, sometimes it slips out. But what if, right? What if you're like, no, I feel really great today. And you say it every day. And you're not always hungry and therefore gaining weight like I did. Yes, I'm good all the time. And you are a businesswoman or man. And there are plenty, 7 billion people in the world today, more than that, who are waiting and need and in pain for what it is that you offer and how you serve them and how you help. And your fear is holding you back from being in service to someone. Right? What if there was another way that you could think and be? What if you are capable and organized? What if you use the strengths that you were given, that you were born with, that is in your heart and in your soul, whatever they may be? Mine just happens to be, I love to be on TV. I've, I always have. That's my strength. So I'm using it. But what if you stop saying, and this is another one. Sorry, I just, this one's coming to my mind. I'm an introvert. And I don't like crowds and I don't want to be out in public. So I don't want to network and I don't want to join anything. Okay. I'm an extroverted introvert. So what that means is that I like to be out or I like to be in public and I like to see you guys. But I also need downtime. I need to like replenish my stores of energy so that I can be just as exuberant as I was the last time you saw me. And if I do go out multiple times in, an, in a week, I do need that extra recovery time. But what changes is if you say, I'm here to be present for the people that I know. And I know that every single time I go out of my house, that there is someone that I'm supposed to meet. There's information that's supposed to be passed. I'm going to be guided to the exact person who I need to share a little piece of information or that I'm going to get a tidbit from. Change your scripts. This is the number one thing that is keeping you stuck. As an introvert, I can tell you right now, you can create a business online, working with people all over the world that doesn't require you to do anything than be present and serve. So there is no reasons in this entire galaxy that you guys cannot be successful or have the life of your dreams or have the man of your dreams or be in a, a loving relationship or be present every day for your family. It is only the things that you are telling yourself 
that are stopping you from having this. So next Wednesday, <laughs> I will be somewhere in a bus traveling through the States. It is my first vacation of 2017. I've been to the Author Castle five times, which has been amazing, and I have come back a different Tamara every single time, but this is the first week that I'm going and I'm off. And I can tell you there's a piece of yourself that says, I have two weeks off in October. Because when I went to the Author Castle and I'm going away for a week. And there is always going to be a small script in your head that says, I will not be able to do what I need to do this month because. Bull snot. What if you looked at the two weeks you were present? What could you do for those two weeks to be the person who did the thing that... Da, 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 could Everything could be a song, eh? <laughs> yes, Patricia, it's going it, to... Like, I meditated this morning on what this retreat this coming weekend is going to be about. And it's magic. It's magic. So here's the thing, guys. Today, when you hear yourself speaking, catch what you are saying. And if it is something that you don't want in the universe, take it back and say, universe, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? Just playing. And say the truth that is the truth, which is that anything is possible. It's a limitless world. There are more than enough people to serve, that you are gifted, that you have something amazing. There is, per there is a person, and I have a map over there that was given to me on the wall, on that giant map. There is a person over there on that giant map that needs you. I can guarantee you that. They're in pain and they are like, where is she or he? I need him or her. Be that person. But happy Wednesday. I love you all. I hope you have the most magical day. And next time I see you, I will be somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to be. I could be in Nashville. I could be in New Orleans. I could be just in a tour bus. I call it a tour bus. It's just a big bus. But I love you and I hope you have a magical day. And I will peace out. Change your scripts. Bye.